Biden's administration is now on the defense. Attorney General Merrick Garland, he's now defending the DOJ against criticism of going too easy on the Capitol rioters. So CNN had said that many of the defendants have been charged only with misdemeanors and some low level offenders have reached plea deals that will likely allow them to avoid jail time. Prosecutors involved in this case, well, they're making determinations in every case about what charge fits the offense, what charge fits the law. That's what Garland said during an interview for the New Yorker Festival when he was asked about the criticisms which have come from outside observers and at least one of the judges presiding over the cases. He also said, I'm quite aware that there are people who are criticizing us for not prosecuting sufficiently and others who are complaining that we are prosecuting too harshly. This is, you know, part of the territory for any prosecutor in any case. I have great confidence in the prosecutors who are doing these cases. You know, in fact, I actually think that they are working hard as prosecutors at the same time. It would be great if they kept up the energy that they have for the random black and brown people out there as they do for these capital writers. But that's just me. What do you think, Jenk? Well, Adrian, is the story that now one of the judges said, no, the prosecutors asked for too little. This is outrageous. Aren't you guys ever going to put any of these guys in, in jail? And so uh, even though the prosecutors had asked for a home confinement, she said, no, I'm putting them in jail for 45 days because it's got to be a lesson uh, to others here that you should not do an insurrection against the United States government. I mean, it's Adrian, it's, it's heartbreaking, it's frustrating, it's maddening that you know, Eric Garner will get killed for being a good Samaritan who sold loose cigarettes on a different day. <laughs> right, George Floyd uh, over 20 bucks and we can go on and on. And yet these guys break into the Capitol and, and try to overturn democracy. And we got prosecutors asking for, uh, uh, it's, you know, basically a slap on the wrist. Yep. No, it is. It's pretty shocking because, as you mentioned, breaking into the Capitol, but also threatening the lives of lawmakers and some of them trying to essentially indicating that they would kill them if they haven't gotten their hands on them, yet again, getting slaps on the wrist. And as you mentioned, there was that recent unprecedented move where a US district judge in DC courts wasn't interested in doling out those slaps on the wrist for at least one of the Capitol rioters. That's Mr. Matthew C. Mazzacco. And that's per Tom Jackman of the Washington Post. What he had said is that, if the defendant walks away with probation and a slap on the wrist, that's not going to deter anyone from what he did again. That's District Judge Tanya S. Shutkan. And so Shutkan sentenced Matthew C. Mazako to 45 days in jail, 60 hours of community service, and 500 restitution for the damage done to the Capitol building. Of the 11 defendants sentenced so far, Mazako is the first to receive a jail term when prosecutors had not asked for one. And the thing is, in the District of Columbia, yeah, we've got a pretty good chance that the man is going to serve all 45 days in jail. But really, this seems like a slap on the wrist, even though uh, prosecutors didn't want anything. Are you getting that same sentiment, Jenk? Yeah, and so presumably some of the uh, more serious cases are, are coming up. Uh, but this guy uh, was part of the mob and, and he breaks in his uh, a defense attorney, of course, says, "Oh no, he just happened to wander in after others, and he was just mainly curious." Meanwhile, you read his comments from after he got back home to Texas, and he's bragging about it. And and now, of course, when he's in court, he might go to jail. He's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I know it was a mistake." And then I, I've seen it a hundred times, and they come out of the courtroom and they brag about how they're right wing heroes who broke into the Capitol, etc. And so I'm not buying any of his remorse. And the judge made a great point. She said, the, the number of people in the mob makes a difference. That's what makes a mob. That's why when others are chanting about how they're going to hang the vice president or kill the speaker of the house, they carry the force of everyone in that crowd, everyone in that mob. And I thought that was a great point. 
Absolutely, uh, and this judge also had noted uh, that essentially because the country is watching, she said, to see what the consequences are for something that has not ever happened in this country before, for actions and crimes that undermine the rule of law and our democracy. That is what really encouraged her to go for a full 45 days, even though I still think that's a slap on the hand. Of course, this judge is a former public defender and knows what the weight of a sentence will do to someone who is incarcerated in the system. I just really hope that this Mazako person and the rest of these writers don't come out of jail thinking they're hard and you know start flexing in some way and thinking that they're gonna you know run these streets so to speak because clearly these people out here bragging and just being a nonsense nuisance. Yeah, and and you know how the right wing is. They they're now calling them political prisoners and making them out to be heroes for trying to end democracy. Um, it's amazing that the country has come to this, and this is not a debate. This is not, hey, should we have democracy or should we let a mob break into the Capitol, murder the Speaker of the House and the Vice President, and take over the country and give it to an authoritarian leader? Are we having that debate? What did you think you were doing that day, right? And yeah. by the way, I want to be clear if you listen to Trump's speech, but you did not go in the Capitol, that's normal, I get it, you went to a speech, I wouldn't have gone to that speech. All those people thought that Trump had won the election, they were wrong, but that doesn't make you a criminal. But you walk into that building with that mob, chanting about how you're gonna kill people, or at least the, the some people were, well, you knew what you were doing. It wasn't, once you broke into the Capitol to try to kill politicians, or at least the crowd did, then we're no longer confused about your intentions on whether you're trying to protect democracy or end democracy. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.